This is our field day. We run it twice a year in the fall and in the spring. It's an opportunity for all of our students to get out and compete against each other in a lot of different games. All middle school students get put on gladiator teams at the beginning of the school year. The students get drafted onto these teams. On field days, they get together and compete. The middle school teams go against each other and high school teams go against each other. The high school teams are all based on themes that the students have chosen and the students dress out for that. They compete all day from start to finish and then they get awards at the end of the day as well, plus the honor of knowing that they've won. And it's a huge event, it's super fun. We have parents come out and feed us. We have student leaders who are involved. The faculty get excited and involved in it as well. Yeah, it's one of our biggest events on campus. Great. I run our Gladiator Team program. That's, my, that's one of my big jobs on campus. And so it's a huge leadership opportunity for high schoolers to mentor younger students. And we have an application process at the end of the school year where we select our best high school leaders who we think are gonna be great and influential on the school. By the time we get to field day, they've done so much work that you know the students come out here and they're so excited and stoked. I'm Joy. I've been part of this process for about four years now. I started off as a regular leader, but for my sophomore and junior year, I became vice president and I did what Hadley did this year and I planned field days, so I planned about four of them. And this year I got promoted as president. Um, I, this year, am the vice president of the Lanista program. I started my freshman year as a Lanista moved up to spirit officer and then now am the vice president. This year I planned field day with Miss Scripsima and yeah, we've just been running the gladiator teams for quite some time now. I just think it's an amazing opportunity for our grades to kind of mix and get to know each other more. Their seniors mixed with freshmen and sophomores mixed with juniors. So they really get to know each other more and that's what really brings this campus together. We are a tight-knitted school, so just having events like these to get them even closer is really nice. It makes it feel more like a community and like a family rather than just, oh, I'm stuck with my grade and these are the only people I know. So our PSO runs a pancake breakfast. That has also gotten bigger every year as our enrollment has gotten bigger and so they just need more and more volunteers all the time. Out on the field today we have Capture the Ball, Tug of War, Ultimate Frisbee, We have Hungry Hungry Hippos in the gym. And then a dodgeball game as well. We have a giant Jenga, Team Jenga. In the classrooms, we have a game called Blindfold Labyrinth, where they have to kind of go through an obstacle course and lead each other through that obstacle course. Um, and then we have Blindfold Drawing, where some students have to tell other students how to draw a picture then whoever gets the best picture wins. And then you'll see at our break, we also do a faculty versus students game for everybody to see. And this year it is giant beach ball four square. So faculty, senators, lanistae, and seniors are all competing against each other in a giant beach ball four square. Our top three teams for scoring each get prizes. Every student on the team gets a prize for winning just points wise. All day we're also calculating spirit scores. The winning high school team gets a gladiator helmet. And the winning team for middle school gets a spirit sword. It's meant to demonstrate because our mascot is the gladiators and gladiators were slaves. When they were given their freedom, they were awarded a sword, a wooden sword that represented their freedom. And so that's what our spirit sword comes from. It's all student run. So that's a really important thing to know too, is that the students plan it, with me of course, and then students run all the games. They manage the teams as well. Teachers are here to support, but it's really all student led. It's definitely a whole community event.